In this video, we're talking about quad tendinopathy. The quad tendon is basically the tendon that connects your quadricep muscles to your kneecap or patella. Quad tendinopathy is defined as disorganization of collagen protein fibers in your tendon. How do we test for quad tendinopathy? Three pain provocation tests. Pain provocation test means if it hurts, it's a positive test. Number one, palpation. So pressing the tendon to see if it hurts. Two, a single leg decline squat. And three, a resisted knee extension. Test it in full range, three repetitions. It should reproduce pain slightly above the kneecap. We can also use an ultrasound scan or a Doppler. Criteria for what grade of tendinopathy you are in is in the description below. Tendinopathy happens when the tendon is shocked by an unexpected increase in load and is unable to adapt in time. Either you had a long break from your training and went straight back to your normal intensity or you progressed too quickly and prematurely increased your training intensity. Scenario 1. An Olympic lifter who took a two-week break and went straight back to snatching 200kg on his first session. Boom! Quad tendinopathy. Scenario 2. A rock climber who took a two-month break because of lockdown and went straight back to climbing six days a week. Boom! Tendinopathy. Personally, when I had quad tendinopathy, I had pain right here. When standing up after sitting for more than 10 minutes, kneeling down for even just 20 seconds and then getting up. Also, when I had quad tendinopathy, there would be pain in the first few reps of a squat session or activity. Then pain would go away after I warmed up, but pain would then be worse after the squat session or activity. Treatment Before you start your rehab, do the single leg decline squat to establish baseline. Rate your pain out of 10. Mine was 5 out of 10 at baseline. Now, phase 1 of our 4 phase rehab plan. Isometric exercises. Exercise one, in a range quads. Place a rolled up towel under your knee and press down while you lift your heel. Aim to hold it for about 45 seconds and repeat it for five repetitions and do this every single day. Your effort level should be about seven out of 10. Once this becomes too easy, you can progress to exercise two. An isometric wall squat. Sit at about 80 to 90 degrees angle for the same 45 seconds, 5 reps every day and it should feel about 7 out of 10 effort. Phase 1 should last about 1 week. Retest your single leg decline squat. If pain is about 3 out of 10 after a week, then you can progress to phase 2. In phase 2, you will start exercise 3, lunges. For lunges, start with 4 sets of 15 repetitions with 10 to 60 degrees of knee flexion. To progress, either add weights and increase knee angle to full extension and 90 degrees knee flexion or start exercise 4, Bulgarian split squats. Do the same progression as lunges. In phase 2, you will do phase 1 exercises every first day and phase 2 exercises every second day. Repeat for about a week. Again, test it with the single leg decline squat if it is less painful after week 2, then progress to phase 3. If not, then continue phase 2 and retest later on. In phase 3, you will do phase 1 and phase 2 exercises every first and second day respectively, then phase 3 exercises every third day. Phase 3 exercise is exercise 5, reverse Nordic curls. Kneel on a pillow, keeping your hips and upper body straight, lean backwards, your quad slowly letting you down, Start with the 30 degrees angle hold, then progress to lowering down to 45 degrees or even lower. After a week or so in phase 3, retest with the single leg decline squat. If better than before, then progress to phase 4. And that is exercise 6, box jumps, and other running dynamic drills if you are an athlete. One thing to note, you can do the single leg decline test every day throughout the four phases. It should not be more painful than the day before. Reduce the amount of repetitions or weight. Remember, it's all about helping the tendon slowly adapt back to strength. Oh, and one more thing. Please don't hesitate to make fun of my skinny little chicken legs down in the description below. Mm -hmm.